Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about grip with regular expressions. Um, and then, so the objective focus is going to be understand and use essential tools, use grip and regular expressions to analyze text. Um, and then, so I want to address uh, something that I put here on the webpage here. To begin, I want to point out the importance of focusing on the official objectives because grip is a powerful tool and it can get uh, really complex with how you do your searches and, and your patterns. Um, and then, so I want to point out that the objectives strictly say, or they say, uh, regular expressions. We're not talking about extended expressions in this uh, video, so that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the beginning understanding of grip and as a tool, and then from there we can build on it by using our man pages. But um, the main focus is here to get an understanding and familiarity with the tool, um, and going from there. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do here is go to the website here and here we have it pulled up and we're gonna download the sample log here okay and once you have it there let's just go ahead and close out of here and well one thing we can do is just move it really quickly to to our home directory that way we just have it there um, here that's the last one so here I just Make a copy of it and put it in here. Um, so this is where we're going to be working from. And so, uh, yeah, the grip. So like I always say, always man, any new command you're learning. Um, here we go. Print lines that match patterns. That's essentially what it does. And it's a great search tool, especially when you're trying to find something uh, like just like you only know a little bit about what you need to find and you just need to search the, the computer and, and the file system. Um, so yeah. And so the first thing we want to do is look at how we use the syntax here. So option pattern and then the file. Okay. And then, so we're going to quit here. And so the first thing we're going to do here, let's just look at what the system that, um, that sample, sample text has okay so see here it's a bunch of lines this is all made up lines of uh, logs and stuff like that you can see here the date time info error uh, and some information here on like on a blurb here okay um, and then there and then, so that's what's in the file it's a good number of lines um, and so we're going to do our first grip command. So let's say, for example, we get that log and we got to search for errors in it, right? So we can see, right? We can examine it a little bit. We can see here that these are all the error, ever, error, error. That's the category for the log there. Okay. Um, so let's do that one. So Control L to clear the screen, and so we can do grep single quotes. And we're using single quotes because that's what's used in the man pages for grep. Um, and in the info page, so that's what we're gonna stick with here, okay? And then we're gonna do error, and then we just go SAM, tab, and then boom. So here we can see the uh, what grip found, right? And remember, this is uh, case sensitive. So for example, if we have error here, like this, it's gonna be capital, right? But if we put lowercase error, like this, it's also, only here gonna bring up the ones that are lowercase in the message there okay so and we'll talk about options in a little bit to help with uh, stuff like that now let's say for example let's look if we look back at our let's just look at this one let's say we only want uh, messages from the 10th right let's say we only want messages from the 10th here and we don't want it to search the whole line and only the beginning. What we can do here, for example, let's just say, let us do this one. Okay, we only want, because if we put numbers in there without doing caret, for example, like if we do, uh, let's just do 10, let's just do 10, right? 10 is gonna match Thing other tens in the line okay it's gonna match other tens we don't want that we want to just connect 
with the ones that start the line. So we're going to caret 12 like this. Uh, let's just start there. Nothing, right? Uh, what was it? I think the, let's look at this again. Yeah, 12, 12. Yeah, it's this month. So let's do this. So 12, all right? And then we're going to do 20. So it's 20 caret. 24 and then we're gonna do 12 right so what this one is gonna do it's gonna sh pick it's gonna match the beginning of the line only okay so even if there's another 20 in here so for example let's just do 20 by itself right we see some matches here in the in the time slot but we don't want that we just want the 20 in the beginning right because we understand this log we're gonna do 12 like this, so it matches that, the beginning, and then it says we just want from the 10th. So we're gonna do like that, okay? Um, moving on, so that's for the beginning, right? So the start of a line. Um, let's do if we wanna do the end of the line. So let's say we just wanna find stuff that says complete, for example, uh, here. What we'll use instead now is a we'll do here is a dollar sign and we'll just say like e t e d like this okay so these would you say completed right so these are the ends here as we can see okay on here on my web page i just have t e d so we can do that one just that one okay so like detected it comes up other other things so control l so that's for the end of a line right and working our way back um, the next thing we are going to look at is, oh, dot here. So with dot, dot is good because we can use that. So if we, let's say, for example, we're looking for at the start of every hour, right? We want to, we want to show like at the start of every hour. So let's see if we can find it. See, so okay, we're kind of searching now, right? But here we can see the start at 10 o'clock. We can see something happening here at nine o'clock. And maybe we just want to check, make sure the application started at the time you had a task running. So we can control L there. And then with dot, we can do dot, right? And it's for every uh, section, right? So every digit or field or, or space. And then we can do dot, dot, and we can do this right here like this, like this, right? And so for example, we can do that. And then we'll return all this top of the hour you see so it matches with anything that's in the front with that pattern okay um, let's say for example we only wanted stuff that happened at 0 9 right between 0 9 we'll do like this and 0 seconds right so you can see 0 9 with 0 seconds at the end like that okay and then so now everything in the middle from each of those days for so we got here the 9th and the 11th um, you can see that that matches okay moving on um, and let's say we only wanted to see things from 10 30 to the end of the hour right so from 10 30 on so we can do something like this we can use here we got brackets that we can use here so Boom, boom, like this, and we can do three, two, five, right? Because 30, 40, 50 in the minutes. Um, and then we can just do enter from there. So here, see on the 10th, only these things happened at 1030. 1030, 1030, 1040 on the 12th, stuff like that, okay? And then now, remember this is per slot. So if we do like, for example, like a zero here, right? Then that'll only bring up whatever is a zero in that slot, okay, or that space. Um, and so that's that's pretty much some basics there to get you going, um, especially like I said, use the man pages. Uh, grip is really powerful. You can use a lot of different combinations, um, and you, especially when like. For example, like in my day job, I, I do read a lot of logs and sometimes 
you just want the date or the time or a certain uh, place, but you got to be familiar with the log and know what exactly what you're looking for um, to actually apply the, the pattern. Or else you end up with, you know, uh, not finding anything or finding maybe more than what you need. Um, and then remember, like stuff like this, right? If you find that, you can you can pipe that into like filtered log txt, right? Or like filtered filtered log txt, like this, right? And then now you have that that information saved for for maybe sharing with the team or, or something like that. Okay. Um, and then so some of the options that you can use. Uh, with grip that are great so remember when we talked about the error thing uh being case sensitive right so if we go back to that let's see let's see if we don't have to go back too far uh here we go so here right this is case sensitive but if we also wanted to bring up things that weren't uh, that are also lowercase we can do something like ignore case like this with the i option and that you see it will match even the lowercase options so this is good especially when you're looking through um you know file systems and and you don't know if it's capital s or lowercase s or it's someone's name and you don't know if it got uh, capitalized when it got made or something like that um excuse me all right and so one of the next options we can use is the r here so that we can look at it let's see here man grep we can look for let's see recursive so recursive like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, next, here we go. So recursive. We all files under each directory recursively. Okay. So we can quit there. Um, and I did do a little testing here beforehand, so we can do here like this. So let's say, for example, we want to search recursively in the directory downloads for this pattern error in the files right that are in downloads right okay so we can do this recursively search here so here you can see that it brings up the file right which is sample system and then the line that comes in okay this is really good especially uh, if you're looking for a document that is associated with like ssh or, or something like that and the next option that we can look at is the v option uh, which is great if you're not trying to find that pattern but you're trying to exclude that pattern so if we go back we can go back to let's go back to error matter of fact let's go back a little bit more that's me testing things ah here we go so if we sample error right so let's say we don't want error we only want the the info and the warning logs we can do dash V like this and see now it prints out all the ones that don't match error right you see so we can see here there's no error in this output here so any lines containing that and then you can do the same thing for like dates and uh, you just need to invert that match okay with the V um, another one we can use is the N to just show number lines and we'll just add that one in here like this so it will show the number line associated with the matched line in the document, okay? So for example, here we have one. So let's take out that V option. And we can do that. And then we can see here that it is now the first option or the line is number three from that file, okay? Um, another thing that we can do is, let's say we're searching in a directory recursively uh, so we can just do error like this recursively uh, I really don't want to do that so let, let's just go back and let's try the L option which just shows the file okay so if you have a match it's gonna show just the file that has that matching pattern in it okay and it's gonna exclude uh, outputting the pattern itself um, and then yeah, so then we can go back and we can just do like O for example. So we can do O in this, and it's just gonna show the matching errors, okay? So that's all I have for grep. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, re you know, review the man pages um, and try and tinker around with any files that you can make up and um, you can just go from there, okay? Thank you so much.